Welcome to Surgery Squad's Virtual Tonsillectomy Surgery. I'm Dr. Jeff. Today we'll be removing a young man's tonsils. This is a common operation that's performed when a patient suffers from frequent bouts of tonsillitis. It's most often performed on younger patients, but adults can need it as well. The tonsils are located at the back of your throat on either side of the uvula. That's the little punching bag thingy that hangs down in the middle. Tonsils are infection fighters, but occasionally they lose the fight and get infected themselves. They become red and enlarged and can sometimes make it hard to breathe and swallow. Normally we treat this with antibiotics, but when tonsillitis reoccurs frequently, we remove them because the infection can cause more serious damage. Our patient was given a sedative before being brought into the operating room, and the anesthesiologist will help put him completely under. Help me out and place a breathing tube in our patient's nose to assist with breathing while we operate. We need to get our patient's mouth open wide so we have room to work. To do that, we'll use a special mouth gag retractor that opens the mouth, depresses the tongue, and locks into position. Why don't you take a crack at that? Great job! That should give us plenty of room. Now we have to reach in and grab the infected tonsil with the tonsil forceps. We need to pull it to the side to expose the connective tissue. Can you do that for me? Nicely done! With the tonsil extended out, we need to place this electrocautery device at the tonsil's base. The device uses high frequency current to cut away tissue and seal off the blood vessels at the same time. By removing the tonsils this way, we reduce bleeding and allow the patient to heal faster. Now that the tonsil has been cauterized, we reach in with a tonsil guillotine clamp. The clamp severs the last of the connective tissue and allows us to remove the tonsil from the throat. Clamp the tonsil and pull it out, would you? We'll bring the electrocautery device back in here and apply it to any bleeding areas. Because this part of the throat heals quickly, we won't need any stitches. Now we repeat our steps on the other side of the throat. Extend the other tonsil with the tonsil forceps. Just like the other side, we'll cauterize this tonsil to release it while keeping blood loss to a minimum. And finally we need to remove the tonsil. And don't forget those bleeders. I'll clean out the mouth with some irrigation and suction, and then we're all done. We'll send our patient to recovery for 8 to 10 hours, and more than likely he'll be able to go home later today. Once he's sent home, our patient will be put on a course of antibiotics. He'll need to keep hydrated with cold water or sports drinks. And if he gets hungry, he can have cool, soft foods like fruit pops, gelatin, sherbet, pudding, and, of course, ice cream. Mmm, getting a little hungry? Thanks for stopping by SurgerySquad.com. While you're here, check out some of my other spectacular surgeries. They'll always stand the test of time, unlike my hairline.